What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can upload your footage to Blackbox and start making reoccurring money as a creative. So I just recently found this. It's a, a site called Blackbox and I want to share with you guys because it's super simple. You upload your stock footage, and if you don't know what stock footage is, it's clips with no audio that people will buy to complete their projects, things like that. So like if you ever see a video and it, it says shutter shock on it or something like that, and you can't get it because it's watermarked, it's because you have to buy that footage so you can later use it. So if you shoot high quality footage, 4K footage, if you have a 4K camera, even if it's 1080p, you can still make money off footage like that. It's crazy easy to do. All you have to do is upload your footage and it'll send it out to all the major stock photo, stock video, sorry, websites, and then people can buy it from there and you'll get your money. There's also other features like you can collaborate and get people to do half the work for you, so you'll split half the money in the process of making money. But for now, I'm gonna show you guys how you can easily create your account, upload your footage, and then finally make some money. So let's hop in the computer. Okay, so we're here in Blackbox. This is what the dashboard is gonna look like, but I'm gonna log out. When you register, you'll have to put in all this information here. So simple stuff. If you're personal or company, you'd probably be personal. Put your name, your telephone, your email, city, country, all this stuff. And then they will send you, it says right here, you have to wait 48 hours for them to confirm your account because there's a bunch of legal things in it and just make sure you know that they register you and everything. And then you'll be able to get into your account. From there, you will sign um, a couple forms. I don't know if I can find these forms, agreements here um, about, you know, how much money you make, you know, what this, you, you're not allowed to do this, this, that. Read this in detail. I did as well. Once you get here, this is what's going to look like. You're going to have your dashboard. For what you can see here is your earnings, your month to date, all this information. And then you can also see recent media that people have put up on the website. So for example, here, this is all some stock footage. This guy with some simple drone shots of the street. This is all recently approved stuff that people can see. So if you need an example of what kind of footage you should be putting on, here is an example. Moving on, you can go here to your black box. Here you will see all your uploaded footage that you have not sent in for processing, which which means this is pretty much footage that is stagnant right now and needs some to do some editing. So for example, here I have clip. It's a hyperlapse of... Um, and then you're going to have your curation tab. What the curation tab is, is, a f is files that you can use to fill in your metadata. So what I mean by metadata is when I come here, this one needs to be edited. What the metadata is, is the description, the keywords, things that'll help people find your footage and be able to buy it. So if I'm looking on a stock photo website, for example, Shutter Shock, if I go here, this is a stock photo website, for example, and I search um, biking, then it'll show me all the stock photos that I can buy with what these person people put as their metadata is biking and work keywords like biking, you know, cycling, different mountain biking. And they also put different categories, but it's pretty much the information that helps people find your footage. So you have to attach a certain amount of information to each video clip to make sure people are able to find your footage. Moving on, submitted content is once you put in your metadata, so this is your footage, original footage, and then you can put in your metadata here, or you can also upload external um, files that have metadata on them. Then you have submitted content, which is content that you want to put on a to the website. You want it to go online and be shared to everything else. Because what Blackbox does is it takes your footage and it sends it all out. So right here, for example, this is a, a drone shot of uh, some crashing waves that I want to go out. And right now I put in my metadata and I submitted it via the workplace. I'll show you how, how all that works. Is pending review right now. So once it's done pending review, it'll be sent out and it'll say online, which means it's online and ready to go and people can buy it. It'll show you the owner, how much you own of it. Moving on, this leads me to the collaboration tab where you can create projects and people can help you out. So let's say I shot the footage. I want someone to color grade it for me. I can go to the collaboration, create a new project, creation project, and then put the project name and all this stuff and then select a, cre a creator. So I have to find someone who can help me out or you can put them out for anyone to help you out. 
curation, and then someone will do it, will add the color grade, add the metadata, and then they will send it, they will send it back to you and you'll be like, okay, this is good, and let me send it out. So this can save you time if all you want to do is shoot the footage, then you can get people to do all the computer work for you and send it out so you're still making a percentage, but usually you'll only be making 60%. So for example, if someone's going to be doing only metadata, they will own 20% of this and you'll own 80. And if someone's going to be doing metadata and color grading, then usually you'll own 60% and they'll own 40%. So it's kind of like a 20% thing. But you can also choose and you can talk to the person if you want to give them more, give them less. And that'll also affect if they want to take the job or not. And then finally, here is the marketplace. So for example, this is some examples of, um, uh, sorry, of collaboration. This person says he needs assistance in color grading. Then I can say, become a curator. And then I can grab that footage that he has color grade it for him, send it back to him, and I will own 20% of the money that he makes off that footage every time he sells it. So pretty much, it's pretty cool. And if you ever want to help out, and if you don't, you know, want to shoot your own footage, you can come to the marketplace, and you can start curating things for people. And this is a cool new addition that and you, you can pretty much send the footage out to anyone in the world, and they'll help you out. And they'll make part of the money, you'll make part of the money, it's a win win situation. Moving on, you got my earnings. This will give you all the information on your earnings. Then you can go to your profile. Then you can add your media, um, your social media links, all this stuff. And you just want to make sure you add all, you want to fill in your profiles. That's pretty much how the black box works. Now let's move on to how we can get footage up and running. So going to my black box, you'll have to upload your footage via an external uploader. The one I use is FileZilla. So this is what it looks like. And you're going to be like, what the hell is going on? But it's really easy. All you have to do is start by putting in the host name, which is always going to be portal.blackbox.global. Then you're going to put in your username, which is your email. And then you're going to put in your password. Then you press quick connect. And you're going to connect here. And this is what you're going to see. You're going to see stock footage and a dot dot. The dot dot is to go back so that it won't do anything. But moving in, you can go into stock footage and this is where you're going to drop drop your footage. So I've already dropped my footage in, but once you drop your footage in there, you're going to refresh. It might take a bit of time. For me, it took at least 15 minutes until the footage showed up, but you're going to see your footage here. You're going to see the name. So also it'll tell you the date uploaded, if it's uploaded, batch name, if you're doing batch work, how much you own, how much you shared, and if you have any releases. You're gonna wanna add your metadata. So all you have to do is click edit, or you can do it here, description, keywords, category. One thing to note before we do that is you have to define if you're gonna need any releases for your video. One thing is, if there's a model in it, a person pretty much, who is clearly visible, then you will need to get a, uh, a release form, which you can download right here, you can download form. And you have to fill in the form with their information, their name, their things like that. Also, this counts for if there's any logos in it that are recognizable, if there's any um, locations that are recognizable, like if you shoot a video of the TD place or something like that, then, you know, that's recognizable. So anything that is not private property, things like that, um, you will have to um, get a release form. or if it's a model, you can add it as an editorial, a model or a place. This means that people will be able to buy it but not use it for commercial video. So it's the same kind of thing but not as many people will buy it, right? Because you can't use it for commercial video but people will still buy it. So that's a cool thing too if you don't want to do the model release form, which I don't really want to do because it takes a little time to get the name of the person be like, hey, I'm going to sell this footage. Can I get your name and stuff like that and it's an awkward situation. So I would just put it editorial if it's a place recognizable, but this right here is not recognizable at all. Then you're gonna put your description. So for example here, let me make it simple. Drone time-lapse of clouds and fields in France. But you wanna make it as clear as possible with as much information about the footage. So for here, drone time-lapse of clouds, fields in prayer. Then your keywords are words, simple words about the footage. So for example, here I can put drone and then you put a comma and it'll, it'll input it. Time lapse, video, oh, that's not how you spell, video. And you wanna fill this information in. So I'm gonna do that real quick. 
Okay, so I have a couple keywords here. That's simple. And then finally, the last one is category. So you just want to choose a category. For me, what should I choose? Time lapse. That's what I'll choose. And then you can upload um, your model or property releases. So model if there's a person, property if it's a place. And you can add shares if there is someone who helped you with the footage and wants to make part of the money. You can set, you can add that person. So for example, if it was a model that helped you shoot footage, then you can send 20% of the money that makes off of that footage to the model and then you don't have to pay them up front and it's kind of like an automatic system. So I'm going to save that. Once you save that, this submit button is going to come up here. This will pretty much submit the footage to the website Blackbox where they will review it and then they will send it out. So here, all my stuff is good. I'm going to submit. And then if you go to submit a content, this is where you can see it. So for example, now I have two pending review. And you can upload as much as you want. So the key here is I think go back in your hard drives and see if there's any video that you can start uploading and sending out so that you can start making money. And if not, then you should start sh trying to shoot simple footage. So a key in shooting simple footage is shooting things that are simple, n always a consistent movement. So for example, here it's always a nice pan up and there's no drone shaking, turning right, left. You want a consistent clip. And the clip has to be in between five and 60 seconds. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. But I'm gonna say I am not a master at this. So don't take everything I know to heart. So I'm gonna put a couple links in the description of people who've been doing it a lot longer than me, know a lot more than me, know how to shoot stock footage, how to get footage that really works. Um, and I'm gonna put that in the link in the description so you guys can check that out and get more information. But I just wanted to let as many people as I can know about this whole system because I had no clue about it. Someone told me and I was like, damn, this is such a good idea. I can make reoccurring money um, and still do what I love. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. And that's probably how I'm going to be continuing to do YouTube right now, selling money on stock video and then later and then using that money to reinvest in gear to make better videos for you guys. So I can kind of, you know, have that exchange and always be doing video instead of having to work that extra nine to five, something like that, which, you know, I, I wouldn't mind doing, but at the same time, I'd rather be doing stock video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.